Dear brethren and friends, Wakeman here. I understand if you may also be feeling tired and frustrated with so much deceptions and false teachers in the world. This is not surprising because this world, which is filled with gaslight and deception, is the realm of the first narcissist, also known as Lucifer. And we all know that narcissists have a lot of flying monkeys to carry on their dirty deceptive work. And this is the origin of these deceptive Luciferians minions. During my narcissist and satanic ritual abuse recovery, the love of the truth from God has been the light of my path. It is not an easy path because it is straight and narrow. However, it is on this path that Jesus Christ waits to meet you and save you when you choose to follow him in truth and love. It is then when you become a Burean. I hope this message inspires you to be a Burean. God bless you. Please remember, Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. Amen. Hey guys, I want to make a really quick video about Bereans. First of all, what is a Berean? The Bible says, okay, in Acts chapter 17, verse 11. Now the Bereans were more noble-minded <clears throat> than the Thessalonians, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if these teachings were true. So in the Bible, guys, we are told that the Bereans were very noble because they tested every teaching against the Word of God. Now, there are many people today who, whenever you question the teachings of a leader, they will say that you have a critical spirit. Even whenever you provide scriptures that show that a teaching may not be true. So... You know, the Bible says there are going to be many wolves in sheep's clothing, many false prophets, many false people masquerading as angels of light. And yet, whenever you question something, a lot of people are going to not see you as a Berean. They are going to say that you have a critical spirit or that you are trying to tear down the body of Christ. This is just some of the, the language that's being used to try to criticize people who are trying to speak the truth in love against the Word of God, okay? The people that are trying to compare things to the Scriptures. Now, a lot of people that are going to hate Bereans, that are just going to criticize them, people that are following false Gospels, that do not want to be told the truth of the word. The Bible says that there are going to be people who want to, their ears to be tickled, so they're going to gather around a great many teachers to, to hear what their tickling ears want to hear. People that are listening to false prosperity preachers are not going to like Bereans very much. Um, people that are practicing questionable practices in the church, like grave soaking, um, fire tunnels and things like that, they are not going to like Bereans because Bereans are going to question these practices against the Word. Um, so guys, there's going to be a lot of people who hate Bereans, but the Bible says that we are to, to test against the Word and that we are to examine the Scriptures every day to see if teachings are true. Now, one thing that we are not taught, hey, buddy, that we are not taught in our churches is to test. You know, oftentimes we think that just because a leader is in a position of authority, that the teachings of that church are true. But the Bible says in order to be a good Berean, we need to go to Scripture daily to test. So, there are going to be many people, hey, buddy, who criticize Bereans, okay? But the Bible says what we are to do. And he, the Word of God calls Bereans noble. Noble. Yeah. Hey. Um, anyway, guys, this is meant to be a short video. I encourage you to go to the Word and to test. 
Oftentimes, if, if you try to challenge any message of a leader, you're going to be met with condemnation. You're going to be met with criticism. You're going to be accused of being divisive, rebellious, having a critical spirit. You're going to be accused of trying to tear down the body of Christ. And that's simply for for disagreeing or, or to going to Scripture. You're going to be accused of a lot of things if you question anything. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to make this short video, and I encourage every one of you guys out there to be a Berean. Um, thanks a lot.